Welcome to the uh, Golden Joysticks 2012, everyone. Uh, today we're going to be discussing fighters, uh, the, the shortlist of fighters. Now, this isn't the biggest shortlist. Um, I'm going to ask Dale why that is in a minute, but first I better introduce everyone. Uh, there's, there's Alex Dale and uh, Ian Wilson, both of CBG. Matt Pellet from, uh, from Games Master, and, and I'm Rob Taylor, and I'm looking after the awards this year. So, seven games on the list, Dale. What's going on? What's happening to the fighters? Well, I don't think anything's particularly happened. There's, a, there's always been just a select few brands of fighting games, and people get passionate behind that. You've got to realise that these are games that people don't just buy and discard. They play it over con a considerable length of time, so there's not really the room in the market for about 15 to come out in a mm -hmm. year. For the thing is, it's one of the most consistent genres in there. So the games that do come out are generally very good, and we've got some real, uh, real good stuff. We've this got year. a few. We've got a few expansions in here. Um, I know Street Fighter Four, interestingly, isn't there. We've got Street Fighter um, X Tekken. Uh, Street Fighter Cross Tekken is an interesting one because, um, as I was saying to Matthew Pellet the other day, it's um, a really solid, really well-made game and very thoughtfully made. But unfortunately, there's a bit of a flaw in the way the juggling works, which means that online it's very easily exploitable. And for that reason, I wonder if it's going to be out of a running in some... Is that, is that one of those mini-games where you hit a car with the juggling? You're you wrong. No? <laughs> basically, basically, if you've played Tekken, the idea is to hit a light punch and then hit them again in mid-air. But yes, but um, some, I, I would say some readers, some listeners will know what I'm talking about and others will be lost. So we'll just, <laughs> we'll just keep that division, I think. I know about like IK Plus back in the day, but no, no, seriously. I mean, there's some, I mean I, I'm obviously, I'm not a massive beat em up fan. I love the Naruto series. I mean, I'm not sure if they qualify as absolute beat em ups because they've got lots of kind of other sort of strings to their bows, like very cartoony, lots of like sort of um, interactive button mashing-y bits. Um, well, it's interesting to see him in the same uh, category as UFC. Who do you think would win in a fight between Naruto and Brock Lesnar, Rob? I'd go for the guy with the whiskers. Yeah, I would as well. Yeah. That's a good pick. <laughs> but not uh, when last, he's a woman. Last, last I checked, Brock Lesnar can't turn into a giant fox demon. Yeah. Well, you never Can know. They take a lot of drugs. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> Allegedly. <laughs> Allegedly. Oh, no, you know, legal ones. Oh, yeah, co coffee's a drug. So, coffee. um, absolutely. I mean, so do you think there's a place, you know, do you think there's a place for, like, brawlers, technical sort of brawlers versus the... the do you think they, they could possibly hope to win if they grown big enough fan bases for, for enough voters to mobilise and get behind the UFCs of this world? UFC's or? the fastest growing sport in the world or something along those lines, is uh, it not? I mean, it's certainly got an audience. UFC Undisputed 3 is, of course, THQ's last um, UFC game. The licence has now been passed over to EA. We saw Dana White obviously crop up at the yeah, EA stage yeah, um, at E3 this year, much to you know, everyone's shock. Mm. Uh, and THQ really went out with a bang. You know, Undisputed 3 was a great game. I mean, yeah. Uh, everyone loved it. Um, we certainly did it at Games Master. But you know what? All those games on the list we did very well in GM. Um, like Blaze Blue, which is obviously... Uh, perhaps doesn't have the, the wider fan base that a sort of calibre or a Street Fighter Cross Tekken might have. A hardcore but, game, isn't it? But it looks yeah, beautiful. But, oh, yeah. And the, I mean, the fans who love that game, they, they, really, they, yeah, they really do, and yeah. for very good reason. I like, think Blaz Blue, very the, technical. the Blaz Blue fans are going to really need to, to mobilise and get behind this, Ian, because, I mean, last year Mortal Kombat actually ended up winning. Wow, yeah. Well, uh, Mortal Kombat's obviously got quite a long history um, in the gaming world. A lot of people would have sort of have fond memories of it back in the day in the, the, the arcades and the sort of... Just the brutality of the or the fatality moves and things like that. So I think that's gonna um, that's gonna sit high in a lot of people's memories. Um, personally, myself, when it comes to fighters, I, I can tend to dip in and out of them. I'm more of a button masher myself. So there's probably gonna be some hardcore fighters cringing at that statement. But uh, but yeah, but I, I would echo what you said about uh, Blaz Blue. Just the, the the visuals on that on that game are incredible, and it's it's it's. There's so much going on on the screen. It's, Pick a winner time then, Ian. Um, well, I'm going to go with uh, with with Blaz Blue. I just think that's uh, that's an incredible looking game. Dana. Well, if Blaz Blue wins, it's going to be well deserved. But I think um, it's forever destined to be a dark horse. If I had to pick a winner. There's some, there's some competition in there, but I think the Ezio factor might tip Soul Calibur Five Ooh, over the edge. Interesting. Ooh. I was going to say Soul Calibur at five as well. It just seems to came be out of nowhere. We just, it just no one's mentioned it, and then everyone's tipping it. It just seems to be like the most mainstream um, fighter I would say on that list. It's yeah. got a, a very wide-reaching appeal, not just because of Ezio, just because it's been around for a long time. It's always been very well regarded. I think Street Fighter X Tekken's going to do it just because of the combination of fan bases. They might just they might just have a cheeky one on it. 
juggling, mate. Yeah, well, you know, it's up to you to now, uh, guys. Get down to uh, goldenjoystick.com. Uh, uh, visit us on Facebook where you can now also vote um, or on our Twitter presence. Uh, loads of compos, loads of debates to engage. So, so, yeah, tell us what you think should win. See you there.